Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today is time again for DAX Fridays. And today I have a real treat for you. This is uh, something that was requested by Kenny and it is finally here. I'm going to show you the function cross filter. It is very, very useful if you are building complex models and have uh, performance issues. So if you don't know how this function works, make sure you stay tuned and watch this video. So as I mentioned in the intro, this video was requested by Kenny Millen, Macmillan that he wanted me to do a, fil a video on cross filter. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Before jumping into Power BI, we're going to go through the Microsoft documentation to see what they say about it. Okay, so here's Microsoft's documentation for cross filter function and what it does is it specifies the cross filter in direction to be used in a calculation. Don't worry about this, I will show you in a minute what it means. And uh, the syntax for cross filter is column name on one table, column name on the other table, and then the direction. There are three direction types, one, both, and none. Okay, so Let's go into Power BI and do an example so you understand what all this means. So here we are in Power BI and we are using the North Wind dataset. This is a dataset that is available for free and I have a video showing you how to use it. So make sure you check the description box to see um, the video if you want to use also this database for practicing. It's very, very useful. So let's see what we have here on the tables. We have a few tables. We have a category table. This is product category. We have a product table. We have order details. And this is basically the um, unit price quantity and discounts of the orders. Here we have the actual orders. We have a date table and we have a customer table. And what we want to do, we want to calculate the sales, the total sales by year and also the number of products sold that year. Okay. So if we go here, we have again, we have already a table with year and sales and it's working perfectly. And now from the product table, we have a measure that counts the number of products. So we want to know the number of products per year and the sales. And as you can see, we get 77 on all rows. And that usually means that we've done something wrong. There's definitely nothing wrong with the measure. So let's go to the relationships table again and try to understand what's going on here. Okay. So how do I put this so it's clear? Let's put it there and there. So we have year and the year filter will go into the order table. You know, relationships goes in the direction of the arrow. I have a video on relationships. Make sure you check that out if you are new to that. So we filter the year, we filter this table, we go in here, you know, following the arrow, get the sales by year, no problem. And then when we are going into the product table to calculate the number of products, then as you can see, the direction of the relationship does not allow to filter the product table. And that is why we are not able to calculate the number of products. So there are two things you can do. You can actually go in here, double click and set the direction as both. There we have it. And as you see, it will work. And the reason for that is again, we go in here, year, filter this table by year, come in here, get the sales by that year, and then now it can go into the products. This is perfectly okay if you don't have a big model, but sometimes you don't want to have 
both or you can't have both um, cross filtering directions so what can you do would you would you do would you would do is to actually use cross filter so let's do that let's go into the order table and create a cross filtering both so this is how it works you do a calculate it needs to have a table function for cross filtering to work so we use calculate and now we're going to calculate the number of products that hasn't changed but what we want to do is we want to activate a virtual double relationship so we use cross filter and then we get from product uh, let's see if i remember from product we get product id and from the order details we get also product id and now we want to activate a both relationship and we put this and you see it starts working again let's look at what it did so we it took product id from products and order details from product or product id from order details so basically it took this relationship and it made it double so you don't do it in the model it just happens when you need to make that calculation it makes everything so much effective it's a really really nice trick to be able to handle um, relationships there's also other scenarios where you would have a many to many like both relationships in here on each table i just don't have a good example at the moment to show so when you have like both here both here both here both here what power bi will do is will force one of these relationships to be inactive and what you can do to activate that relationship where you need it you will do again cross filter but here you will set one to none and then you will use user relationship to make the other one active so you will disable the one that is active and enable the one that is inactive i will try to find a good example that i can actually show you and perhaps if you need it make a video about it but i think you will understand you understand now how cross filtering works so what it basically basically does is activate relationships or inactivate relationships virtually so they get activated or deactivated when you need them really really useful isn't it okay so this is all for today's video i really hope you find it useful um i'm hoping that you will have a also very nice friday love fridays okay so if you like the video let me know by liking it if you have any comments questions suggestions on the video let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and uh, subscribe i publish power Air power bi videos every monday wednesday and friday dedicated to dax fridays to dax measures i mean so have a great great weekend bye